What's up everybody, Steven Zekiller here, bringing another reaction. Now, this is the final warning for all my fans. Uh, well, maybe one more warning or two. But this upcoming weekend will be the last, uh, any, any questions you guys have. So, you guys have a couple days, but probably Thursday or Friday I'll be cutting off. Um, so this weekend I'm doing my Q&A for hitting 13k. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Uh, yeah, so, and today's fight is another Animation Rewind fight. So if you guys want to check this out yourself, link in the description. Today's fight is Megatron versus Frieza from Dragon Ball Z. I have no fucking clue how Megatron could actually beat Frieza, but, uh, I guess there's possible, no, sorry, no, I don't fucking believe it. So, uh, when Frieza, in his first form, could destroy Unicron, probably, because he can destroy planets really easily, I don't see Megatron having the same amount of power. So, yeah. We're going to get into this fight by Animation Rewind and enjoy this fight right now. Uh do 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 be near 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 hey and I'm wearing my Frieza well overall evil villain shirt from Dragon Ball Z with Cell, Bot Majin Buu and Frieza on it and I thought this would be a cool shirt to wear for this animation but at the same time I would just wore the shirt chose the shirt for today <laughs> And it just happened to land on the day this video What's was up, out. Everyone? So it kind of worked. the 143rd episode of Cartoon Fight Club. I'm your host, Animation Rewind. And if you're new to this series, be sure to check out the older content. But if you know how the game is played, then let's, let's get, get right ready in for the fight. the fight. Tonight's episode was animated by DZ Browder and Droop the Hedgehog. So if you enjoyed the nice. animation, head on over to these channels and subscribe. Speaking of tonight's battle, we have a fight between Megatron and Frieza. And since the Transformers is a multiverse, we are only going to use the G1 Megatron for this episode. Ah, okay. With this being said, let's introduce Cartoon Fight Club's Don't know too much about that Megatron. <laughs> round of fighters. Okay, have this might be a little dangerous. What makes a villain such a well-written character? Well, for me at least, if they can do things that are so evil that you can't help but to hate them, you got yourself a grade A villain. And I found out that Megatron fits that bill the day I saw him shoot Ironhide dead in the face. Call me a fanboy, but this actually touched a nerve. And worst of all, Hasbro only did it to sell a new wave of toys by killing off the old characters, crushing childhood dreams. Damn, just that is hell fucked up. So much that that's fucked up as Frieza. Liking him. In case you didn't know, Megatron is the almighty leader of the Decepticons. The Decepticons are the largest political faction on what was once Cybertron. Megatron also, I wonder what type of Frieza like, is he going to use a per particular point in time of Frieza? Like, is he going to use Resurrection F, or is he going to just use Planet Namek Frieza power? For believing that freedom is the right of all honestly, beings, I think at most so, second form Cybertron Frieza would be enough. So war -torn that it was uninhabitable. This forced Megatron and a small fraction of his top Decepticons to chase Optimus Prime and his Autobots all the way to a small planet known as Earth. To prove to you that Megatron is a badass, the guy transforms into a Walter P-38 pistol. This was such a problem that kids in real life would get in trouble for bringing their Megatron figures to school. Wow. Since the gun looked so accurate to a real Walter P-38. This makes Megatron so bad that he got people in trouble even in real life. I'm telling you, this guy is a really well-developed villain. Now, ultimately, huh. this did force him Wow, that's to funny. I did not know about that. Jet slash tank hybrid, but that's later down the road. Being the leader of the Decepticons is not a role that is given or even promised for life. To earn and even keep your role, you literally need to be the most powerful member out of anyone yep. who wishes to challenge you. Only the stupid and the foolish Decepticons ever dare to challenge Megatron. He's got all the right assets to make him a powerhouse. Megatron's primary weapon is known as the Tetra Singularity Fusion Cannon. 
This weapon was designed and powered by harnessing a black hole as its main power source. Oh, wow. Source. Megatron can choose how much force he wants to summon from the black hole, but he has only used its full power once as it can be very unstable once at full power. It's not every day you feel like engulfing entire solar systems with black holes. Megatron okay. even uses trusty Energon mace that burns That might be a little bit of a dangerous for Frieza, but not too much, I think. Systems. He can fly massively faster than light thanks to his luminal space drive and is one of okay, the Okay, so now he has some speed factor, warriors. I guess. Now Megatron does have his limits and like many Transformers, he has been killed and revived before. Only two Autobots have ever successfully put Megatron down. Those two being Optimus and Rodimus Prime. Except nobody cares about Rodimus Prime. Overall, <laughs> yeah. Megatron is a tyrannic leader of the Decepticons whom is powered by the force of a black hole. He has over millions of years worth of experience Damn. and is a highly dangerous opponent. Okay, Megatron might also have more experience in fighting than Frieza. You know how Speaking ignorant well Frieza can be. Villains, for anyone who hates Frieza... Don't forget that Frieza is responsible for every single reason why you love Goku so much as a hero. Frieza can best be described as the most evil used car salesman ever. Now what I mean oh this my is god. That Frieza's job is to sell used planets to the highest bidder. Except Frieza isn't really known for creating or buying planets to sell. Instead, he steals already inhabited planets, commits genocide to every living thing, and then sell it to the highest bidder. So before you buy a planet from Frieza, make sure to ask him to show you the Star Fox. Get it? Instead wow. Of no? Okay, let's move on. Before okay, that was, that was pretty that cheesy cool. animation Frieza rewind. Craves destruction, power, and death. He was responsible for the genocide but still pretty good. of the Saiyan race and many other innocent sentient races. As a Frost Demon, you would think that it would be almost impossible for someone like Frieza to have this type of power. But Frieza was born mutated and was developed abnormally during his stages of thawing. This gave him abnormal wow, yeah, power that's true. in comparison to the entirety of his race. Now compared to say a human, a frost demon is very powerful, but Frieza himself is on an entire new level of godlike power. Just with Frieza's first form, which is arguably his weakest form, he was able to destroy the entire planet Vegeta with just a light touch of key from his index finger. An entire planet destroyed with little effort. Yeah, that's finger. what I'm talking Moving about. From his first form, his power greatly multiplies when entering his second, third, and even final form. Frieza's and now the final golden form, form is his most iconic, as it's the same form he was born in. When entering this form, all damages received from his other forms are healed, and he is able to reach his full potential. But even then, this form is kinda irrelevant, as now, thanks to Ultimate Evolution, Frieza has obtained a new Golden form. Golden Frieza's yep. power severely outclasses any form Frieza has ever had. It's so yes. powerful that it's on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku, and it even garnered the attention of Beerus. Now, this form isn't perfect. The fact that it's so powerful comes at a heavy toll. After a few yeah, he minutes, drains the energy constantly, but I think the Frieza energy that he emits will be so much more powerful than body, Megatron can handle. Manage his power carefully. Overall, Frieza is a tyrannic emperor with the power to destroy planets with ease. He has a golden form that is on par with Super Saiyan Blue Goku and is a true force to be reckoned with. Yeah. And now, let's get ready for the fight. This battle will take place on Earth with no prep. Let the battle begin. Ooh, this is going to be a tough one for Megatron, but I'm rooting for it even though I don't care for him. Let's go fucking Frieza. Never thought I would actually root for him. Welcome to defeat. Oh shit. Yeah, the black hole cannon. Oh shit, come on, Frieza, what are you doing? I'll show you I don't know if fucking. Megatron can handle a blast that can destroy planets from Frieza. Oh shit. Yeah, he's fucked. 
He's fucking done. <laughs> You're going to beat me. I am Megatron, leader of the Decepticons. You. Oh, come on. Prepare to die. Yeah, kick his ass, Frieza. Frieza should be able to handle that. Oh, are you serious? No. You're going to beat me. Now then, let me show you the greatest power in the universe. You will never beat me with a puny power. Okay, here we go. Golden form. Yeah, Megatron, you go. You got. You got nothing. This is just a waste of time, you yep. piece of trash. Yep. Yep. You, you want to see anything in the Animation Rewind? No. Say congratulations for hitting 300,000 subs. Okay. Nice. Say congratulations. Yeah, <laughs> what the hell? Okay, that was random. And it looks like Frieza takes the gold. Now, before we discuss yes, why, he does. I want to give a huge thanks to the okay, animator. Uh, okay, okay, Easy maybe Megatron's on par with Megatron. Super Saiyan level saw, Strength of Frieza, but not Super Saiyan Blue subscribe. Strength of Frieza. And I gotta be honest with you guys, I am a huge Transformers fan, and I like Megatron far more than Frieza, and I think as a character, Megatron solos Frieza via quality as a villain. But that has no effect on whether or not he could beat Frieza in a fight. As That's much as true. it pains me to say, but this battle would be considered a spite match. In a fight where only one shall stand and one shall fall, it shouldn't be too hard to figure out that Megatron is simply outclassed in nearly every category. If I am to be generous, I can give Megatron the edges in intelligence and skill. Being smart enough to hack supercomputers and having over millions of years worth of experience over Frieza. But when Frieza's overall physical limits far outpace Megatron's beyond yes. imagination, skill and intellect has almost no effect anymore. Without any type of outside help or power upgrade from, say, a Minicon or Unicron, Megatron only has his black hole at peak for his weaponry. This type of power is really nothing new for Frieza, and Megatron definitely does not have anything new to throw at Frieza. Especially not Golden Frieza. And sure, Golden Frieza yeah, can Yeah, really any Transformer few fans out there, I'm sorry, but burn out. it's Frieza. But Frieza I, would really especially with the Golden a few Form. Seconds, let alone a few minutes, to finish off Megatron in his Golden Form. Because of this, if you want to see Galvatron take on First Form Frieza only, all you have to do is like Okay, this see video. now that's if more of a fair fight. 10,000 likes, there will be a rematch. If you guys also, want that to happen, link in the description, go check it out. Hit that like button and subscribe and to Animation tuned, Rewind. Because the next fighters are All right, who is next? Revealed on the next episode of Cartoon Fight Club. Oh shit. Another Dragon Ball Z fight. Here you are, Bulma. Is this going to be a uh, teen, a uh, teenage, like during the uh, Dragon Ball series, Goku, Goku when he's fighting um, what? Piccolo? Because this is me. basically the I error mean. of that. This is before Raditz Goku, basically. Wait. Teenage Goku versus Batman? It is Teenage Goku versus Batman. Holy shit! All right, all right, all right. Now that is going to be an interesting fight. Hey, hey, hey. Come on. Sorry, my dogs. I guess they got excited when I said all right, all right, all right. <laughs> but, um... Overall, fantastic fight. Definitely go check out the animations. Uh, definitely check out uh, Animation Rewind's Patreon if you guys have anything to support. 
I'm part of it too. And thank you again for putting me in the special thanks, Animation Rewind. So if you guys enjoyed this, definitely check out all the other fights. I uh, would really recommend you guys, if you are big superhero fans, to check out that one right there. Or uh, that one right there, up here, I guess. But the uh, Avengers vs. Justice League fight, and definitely the Godzilla vs. Transformers Total War. Uh, um, and another last call for, or soon to be last call for um, Q&A for 13k. So, if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to show up by punching that like button. And subscribe for more content. I will be doing a lot more uh, for you guys. I have started school. I've said that in a previous video. So, sometimes videos can fluctuate and everything. Depends on my time for school and YouTube. So, if you guys want uh, anything else reacted to let me know in the comment section below and uh till next time guys later thanks for watching this video everyone hope you enjoyed it and if you want more check out the description below hope to see you guys in a later video also have an awesome day